All right, but we got to talk about the injuries, man. The Niners have a big problem with the injuries. It is the hot topic with fans. It's the hot topic with everybody. You were a Niners player for seven years. You've now got to go to a different training camp, you know, work with a different training staff in Philadelphia. Is there a problem with what the Niners are doing? Is that why players on the Niners seem more susceptible to injuries? What can you give any insight to this? Well, I don't know what they did this past camp, but if we're going based off when, when I was there, uh, I honestly thought like he was doing a good job at saving our bodies, but just going to the Eagles, being with the Eagles for the short time I was with them, it ain't even close. Like what the Eagles do, like, and then you just got to go off results from from last year. The Eagles, I think they was number one in least injured players, and this year I think it's the same. So we're just going off results, like pure results. The Eagles. Their plan is just by far probably one of the best where, you know, they, they definitely let you rest your body. Like, you're getting, you're getting hard work in, but at the end of the day, like, you you got a lot of – you're getting a lot of time off to rest your body. You, you're able to be – you're able to be fast and, and light, you know, really, like, not bang not, – not feeling, the, you know, the, the pressure and the, the, the bumps and bruises throughout the season. So basically you're saying that, you know, the Eagles camp, they you feel like they rest you more? Is it that the Niners camp oh, yeah. is too hard? Is a, it too many a, hard days yeah, consecutively? Not, Niners, yeah, Niners, I would say being in camp with the Niners, it's a lot of banging. It's a lot of banging. You're going to very physical camp, very physical camp, a lot of padded practices. Uh, Eagles, I, I would say it's, it's physical for sure, but you're not doing a lot of banging. You're uh, – some days it's just like red zone only practice and you know it, they just keep it light but it's still high intensity but you know they they keeping they keeping i guess your reps down and as a player like just talk to me you know obviously no none of us can relate you're the only one that's here that's played actually maybe somebody else watching has played in the league but i certainly haven't and you've talked to me about you know how much of a grind the season is on your body, how some days you wake up and Mm -hmm. you're like, damn, how am I going to play in this game and all of that? How important is it for you um, to have what the Eagles do where they let your body rest? Like how much different does that make you feel? It makes a huge difference, you know, waking up knowing like your body feel well rested and, you know, I don't feel like you got a bump or bruise at all. And that's just, you know, you're going to fly around. But when you're waking up and it's like, oh, shit. You know, you you still feeling something you shouldn't be feeling. And a lot of times your body could be feeling good. And then you wake up Sunday morning, it's like someone just start hurting you for no reason. Like, what? Right. So it's, again, that's, it's, it's, it's definitely better to wake up feeling that, feeling, feeling great that Sunday morning where it's like, okay, I feel like my body felt like the whole week of practice. And, you know, you could fly around. Talk, talk to me about this though, right? I think the immediate, um, kind of impression that, you know, resting and not practice, like the Niners practicing hard is that the Niners are going to be a more physical team than other teams, right? Because they're competing, they're banging every day, their bodies are equipped to this. For whatever reason, right, you describe Philadelphia as being like, you practice hard, but you're still getting rest all of this. We're watching Philadelphia two through five weeks, right? Philadelphia hits as good as any team, right? They oh, never get out hit, out hit. They compete. They're really physical. Explain to somebody like me who has no clue, like how the practices can be physical. You can get enough hits in to be ready for the season, be ready to hit teams during the season, but still maybe, you know, be light on your bodies. Well, to be honest, I mean, how I said, I mean, I'm just a player, but me personally, we're professional athletes, you know, we, we get paid to tackle. So it's like at the end of the day, we shouldn't have, should have to be, you know, bumping heads, being so physical in practice as if we, you know, as if we don't know how to tackle and don't know how to be physical. And I think that's something, you know, again, it, all I'm going off is the results. As you're looking at it, Philadelphia, you know, they, they're physical at practice, but it ain't too much of, you know, it's, Sometimes it's, you know, you have to throw it up, but it's not really 
all the time you have to throw it up, man. And San Fran is don't pass up no contact or you're going to be off the team type feeling, you know. So at the end of the day, you got to – you still getting – it's still a bunch of things that, you know, the, the 49ers offer to, you know, keep your, your body and feeling good, like far as massages and stuff like that. They they pay for that. They they go out of their way to make sure guys are feeling good before Sunday. Mm-hmm. But uh, at the end of the day, it just it just a lot of bad luck, too. Like, it's just I, don't, I really can't tell you why. Like, I really can't tell you why people keep getting injured. Right, right, right. right. And, and a lot of times it is really that, right? I right. mean, I think a lot of people are looking to solve a process and a problem that nobody really has an answer for. It's it's the reality of playing football. It's physically yeah, exactly. You're playing football, yeah. so it's, you know, to me, it's, it's, I say it's a bunch of car wrecks. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of car wrecks happening. 